I find it, uh, I, I, have, I have to say, I was initially surprised that there was an impact. These are students who attended private school between first and fifth grade for an average of something like two years. Uh, we don't know, for example, what happened to them in high school. Um, and that made me think about uh, whether there might be, first that made me think that this is a huge effect. Uh, but then I thought about the high, uh, Head Start literature, which shows that there's an important fade out. So kids who are in Head Start seem to show very po uh, strong uh, positive effects on uh, academic performance, but over time that fades out as they go into uh, regular schools or lower quality schools um, compared to their peers who did not, uh, who were not in Head Start. So then the question here becomes, well, is this an effect that, is this a small effect because these students were out of the private school after they, um, in high school, um, or not? I mean, is there fade out, or is there something to the effect that once you put them in this environment, there's kind of a, a permanent effect that, well, this is what, it's, I think part of what it seems to suggest, there's a permanent effect that doesn't get lost. So I think that if to the extent possible, and I know there may be some limits because they're not in school for that, not, not in the private school settings for that long, or on the voucher program for that long, to look at the dynamics. What, is there fade out? Uh, do students who stay longer in private schools seem to have uh, stronger effects in terms of college attendance rates than, what, than ones who go in uh, just for a short period of time and drop out? The ones who never use the vouchers, for example. Do they have different effects? You assume, and the IV results assume there's no impact on those students that never use the voucher. That's an assumption, uh, but you may want to sort of think a little bit more carefully about the dynamics of, uh, of, the, of the effect.